the 19th of February. I'm actually in Windermere, uh, a little bit different for me. I don't normally come up the lakes very much uh, on account my wife has terrible car sickness. So because the roads are quite twiny, we don't usually come up here that often. But I have to take my car in for an MOT, which uh, it's a Kia and there's a Kia dealership here in uh, Bowness on Windermere. So we've just said it's going to be around about three hours. So three hour walk. I'm just going to spin you around slowly. It's kind of weird. Um, the towns that we do come up here, this is Rear Rig Road. I'm just heading out of uh, Bowness and I've got choices. I'm going to try and go over to Hayes, which is about five miles away, if, if uh, the road permits. But yeah, normally there'd just be a constant stream of cars, but it's very, very quiet, of course, with the COVID situation. Oh, just a minute later, I've come across this uh, playground and uh, picnic area owned by the council. So I'm going to have a walk along and the lake is just down there. So hopefully we'll get some nice shots of the lake, uh, which should be good. It's uh, a lot of the lake now is, well the frontage should I say, is uh, owned by millionaires, multi-millionaires I guess. So it's nice that you can actually, there's still a bit uh, that the council have and the public can uh, wander around. Right, catch in a bit. Oh, that was interesting. I just had a long talk with a lady. Turns out she was from the same town as myself, my own town. Commenting on a couple who've just come out now, but they're in the lake. <laughs> this time of year, they must be very hardy or extremely foolish. It looks like some uh, other people are going in down there. But they've got, uh, what do you call them, dry suit, is it? Or I don't know. Anyway, yeah, not for me. Yeah, that's some down there. That. Down there. Anyway, she said that the, if I follow this path, there's some uh, nice views, and then it comes out further along along the road, which will do me just fine. Yeah, so she was saying I picked a good day to come. Normally, pre-COVID, it would be absolutely swarming with people. So here's a nice shot. Better shot of the Langdale Pikes there. You see a little bit of snow on the tops. Still. I think that is the Fairfield Horseshoe. It's a sort of horseshoe shaped walk. It's quite long. It's about 14 miles. But some stunning views. Well worth the effort. I'd like to do that again at some point. Try and maybe incorporate it as part of my this uh, thousand mile walk challenge. Anyway, push on. Love the sound of running water. Here's a little shot for a YouTube buddy of mine, Nigel, aka Muddy Boots. Here you go, mate. You wanted waterfall. It's not massive, it's very nice. So that's the place, and she's quite right here back out on the road further up. So I'm going to carry on heading this direction. Catch you later. Well, about half a mile from the viewing point, and I've just come across this. Uh, normally, I do remember we drive past, and there's a whole herd gar gardens. National Trust is up there, maybe about another half mile, but. Uh, 
on account I've never seen this before I'm going to have a mosey and see what this is all about that's pretty nifty Yeah. I guess that's all uh, solid oak. Well, it looks like they do green woodwork because those are sh um, shaving horses. I used to have one. Yeah. So it looks like they must do courses on uh, green woodwork, at least, if nothing else. Looks like the roof's been shingled as well, rather than uh, slate. Yeah. I can't find anything else out. Everything's closed up at the moment, but uh, yeah. Footprint. Hmm. Yeah, well I couldn't get any further, um, it looks like there's a sort of residential thing, residence only, um, but it turns out, yeah, oh, hello, <laughs> inquisitive, I've never seen sheep as friendly, anyway, yeah, where was that, so yeah, um, it is, it's like uh, woodmatters.org or something, and yeah, they're doing loads of green woodwork, Presumably you have to pay and come on a course or something, but they also do stuff for schools about ecology and kind of stuff like that, but they do chair making, spoon carving, you know, all kind of which explains the um, shaving horses and what have you which we saw just before so yeah, it might be worth uh, a closer look at some point when I know a bit more about it so I used to be into all that sort of stuff at one time. Right, anyway, so I've decided uh, I'm going to see if we can walk along the road that away. Uh, see if we can get somewhere near this whole herd garden centre. It's probably going to be closed, but anyway, it's a walk, isn't it? So I'll catch you in a bit. What's that? Wasson. It looks like uh, Damson. Uh, mine are nowhere near that actually, so that's the first fruit blossom I've seen this year. It's like, uh, yeah, grown up suckers look there blossoming too. So, in theory, you could dig those up and plant them, which is what I did. Very nice. Yeah, so here we go, whole herd gardens. Up there, it's about half a mile on from the previous place, so I'm gonna have a wander up anyway. Like I said, it's uh, probably be closed, but uh, we'll have a look. Time for a brew. Sudotsuga Menzisii, a Douglas fir, by any other name. It's massive. Better look at it from this angle. That's a fair tree. Oh, there's a van coming. Yeah, 
that Leonard Cheshire home is that's the building up there uh, something to do with people with uh, disabilities I think and so the uh, <laughs> so nah. yeah the gardens this so I'll just have a quick look Yeah, so there we go. Love that glass house. So yeah, there's a cafe and what have you. Yeah. I think what I should probably do is uh, come back and maybe do a, a separate video on this because I think the video now will be getting too long. Um, drop me a comment down in the box if you'd like me to do a come back and do a full video on this. As I say, it's a, the whole place is entirely run by volunteers. So they just, uh, it's all sort of sustained by donations really. Lovely peaceful place, at now anyway, because there's hardly any cars around. That's a great potting shed. Fantastic. All sorts of stuff going on in there. I'd love a spot like that, way. How amazing. Obviously there's so many things to come out. But it is nice to see the spring bulbs. and the scent off this. Wow. I can't just, oh, there you go. I think that's right. It's Daphne. I mean, my sense of smell is very poor, but that is really strong. That's brilliant. I guess that must be uh, some more of the volunteers. This is where plenty of the action goes on. Wonderful resources. Yeah, I seem to recall last time we came here. Uh, went up here and uh, there's some picnic benches and stuff. Oh, at least there's some some seats anyway. You can go and have a sandwich and a coffee or something and take in the amazing views. Pond here. Right in thinking. Hard to see in the viewfinder but it looks like a pile of frog spawn there and another one next to it. I can see a huge bunch of it over there somewhere. So maybe when we come back, when things are uh, open again, we can, there'll be tadpoles swimming around. So I think there is a tan below. I'm going to see if I can find, get, get down to the tan. I don't know who this place belonged to originally, but they had the right idea. And can you imagine sitting somewhere on this terrace and I don't know whether those trees would have been there then, but that vista, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah. They had the idea and they had the money too, no doubt. Right, here's the path to the town, so let's go and take a look. Yeah, sorry, I got a bit mixed up with the footage. So I was just kind of saying, uh, yeah, there's this little path along the side of the town here, brings you back to the starting point down by the road, so that's where I'm headed back now. I have to walk uh, back towards the garage, about three mile, something like that. Hopefully the car will have passed its MOT and uh, we're good to go. So, like I said, if you want me to uh, do another a full video of this place, just uh, drop me a comment down below, please. And um, once again, thanks ever so much for watching. Please do leave a comment if you've liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. And uh, see you next one.